Hello, my name is Samantha Katz. I'm a first year medical student at Wayne State University. And this is the first video in the internet safety series titled Eliminating Internet Fear and Password Security. So firstly, internet fear. We wanted to start with this topic because while there is a chance of being hacked on the internet, there are many ways to eliminate any anxiety or fears that this may cause from not having much practice with the internet. It's good to be cautious when providing information on a website in order to prevent it from being stolen. In addition, there have been a large increase in fake news that circulates the internet, especially within social media. However, learning ways to keep your information protected allows you to have much more confidence with the internet. The more informed you are, the easier it will be protect to protect your information from any possible hackers. In addition, Learning how to identify misinformation will help eliminate any fears of media you will consume as being false information. So in the rest of this video, when we discuss password security, we will learn ways to help protect your password to avoid being hacked and to kind of eliminate some of that fear. In addition, some of the later videos will discuss other ways that will help eliminate this fear. So first is password security. So it's important to have secure passwords because this will prevent any hackers from entering your account. And while maybe you think your passwords are secure, there are definitely ways that you may not know of to help strengthen your passwords. So this is kind of just a cartoon showing do's and don'ts of good passwords. So this is an example of a bad way to store your passwords because the people next to him could kind of see his passwords at any time. So for specifics on what not to have in a good password, it's important to have a different password for certain accounts. So for example, if you have multiple social media accounts, it might not be that big of a deal to have the same password. However, it would be very important to make sure that your banking account and your social media accounts have different passwords that are not related to each other because that limits any hacking. So if someone were to hack your social media, they wouldn't be able to access your banking account. In addition, it's important not to share your passwords with others. This kind of is common sense, but also you can avoid this by only giving a password to someone that you trust only when you absolutely need to. And then for specific password, um, it's important to not use easy dates or names that would be easy for someone to guess. So the word password or one, two, three, four, five or combinations of those. And in addition, anything that's significant to you. So maybe like your daughter's name or your pet's name or something like that would be really easy to guess. So next I have some examples of that. And you can see that there is a combination of letters and numbers, sometimes uppercase and lowercase. However, all of these passwords would be very easy for someone to guess if they were trying to access your account. You can see that like for Claire Smith, the only thing I would need to know about her is that she was born in 1989 to guess her password, which is really easy information to access. So you may be thinking, what is something that's good for a password? And there are many ways to strengthen your passwords. I think the most important thing is kind of what's called a passphrase. So it's important to make your password complex because that makes it way harder for a hacker to access. However, you do still wanna remember your passwords. So it, you wanna make it easy to remember, but hard to guess. And so, as I said before, using different passwords for different accounts and keeping your list of passwords secure is important. But for the actual passwords themselves, it's important to kind of combine letters and numbers and maybe even symbols. And again, to use passphrases. So I'm going to give you some examples of that. So these passwords, if it's something like the first one, meat and potatoes, that's really easy to remember. However, it's a very complex password because you have a combination of uppercase, lowercase, symbols, and numbers. And as you can see here, the number zero is replacing an O. That's another way to increase complexity is replace um, a letter 
with a number that kind of looks like it. So down here, you can see the E is replaced with the, the number three. And then in addition, another way would be to use the letter R instead of the word R to make it more complex and having capitals sprinkled in with the lowercase, no pun intended. And with those things, you are able to have a more complex password. So you can pause this video if you want and take a second to maybe think of ways to strengthen your passwords, maybe write down one or two that you think would be a strong password for yourself. Now we're gonna talk about how to keep track of your passwords because at this point, hopefully you know that it's important to have more than one password to keep all of your accounts secure and to avoid kind of getting hacked everywhere if you were to be hacked. Although we did just strengthen our passwords, so hopefully that wouldn't happen. But there are ways for you to keep your passwords secure if you do have difficulties remembering your passwords. And I know I do, so I use some of these things as well. So again, be careful who you share your password with. I would definitely limit it to maybe one person who you trust to make decisions for you or someone who you would just generally trust. Another important thing is to keep your passwords secure. So under your keyboard is not a secure place to keep your passwords because if someone were to be by your computer, they could just enter that password in and uh, hack your accounts. So uh, definitely a better place to keep it if you are going to write it on a note card is to keep it locked up or with you at all times. And another way is to make password clues. So an example of this, if we go back to the password examples. So for the third one, winter time, February two, a password clue would be favorite season and favorite day, for example. So that kind of helps you remember your password but doesn't actually give someone access to your passwords directly. It would just kind of trigger your memory on what your password is for that account. Another really good way to secure your passwords is the password vault or a password app. So this is basically a secure way to store your passwords where you would have to enter a code to access all of your account passwords. So maybe you don't have that many accounts and passwords to remember, but if you're going to make each password different, this would be a great place to store them. So I'll give you an example on my iPhone. So the iPhone comes with its own password vault, essentially. And I'm going to show you how you can access it from an iPhone. This is just an example to kind of show you how a password vault is secure. So if you go to settings in your iPhone, you can click on passwords and accounts right here. And within that, you can go to website and app passwords. So if you even have like apps that have passwords, this is a good place to store it. Then you have to enter a four digit code for me. You can also change it to six digit codes and maybe even a, a password phrase like with letters. And you have to be able to enter that in order to access all of your passwords. So that keeps it more secure because someone has to know this code. Then in this password vault, once you gain entry, now you have access to all of your passwords and it's kept secure and it can be with me at all times, it's on my phone. And so there are also apps that can do this if maybe you have a smartphone. Um, otherwise, as I was saying before, if you don't have a smartphone and you wanna keep your password secure, secure, you can just use like password hints on a note card or keep a list secure in your home. So with that, the key takeaways of this lecture is that you wanna have passphrases. So basically for passphrases, easy to remember, but complex and difficult to guess is kind of the takeaway with passphrases. In addition, keep your passwords secure. But a really good way to do this is with hints. If you have a smartphone, maybe you can use a password vault. Either way, making sure your passwords are secure. So thank you so much for listening to this video and hopefully you can continue listening in the next few videos for more topics within internet safety.